Companies from across the country were on Long Island today, hoping to transform daily life for thousands of Americans with sight and hearing challenges. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports modern technology is becoming a vital tool for independence and communication. When I woke up from the coma, I was blind and hard of hearing. Myasia Mobley's from Brooklyn. Were you born deaf and blind? Yes, yes. At birth, I had both conditions. Julia Murray's from Pittsburgh. They're among the intrigued who came to Helen Keller National Center in Sands Point looking for lifestyle breakthroughs. It's just finding new ways to do things. Is spelling deaf blind and the manual alphabet? Tatum Robotics created a hand that can interpret and communicate in American and tactile sign language. This is so new. Like, this is awesome. Hi. So I am deaf blind, and this event is meaningful to me because we're able to socialize and come together for the tech blitz. A dozen companies showing off gadgets to help enhance lives. 40,000 people in the United States are deaf blind. Many say they rely on the latest cutting edge technologies. So here you see the red red signal in the picture, okay. and you can feel. Peter Jungvid designs light and vibration tools. It also helps you in case there is an event, like an emergency, some, like door, telephone, smoke alarm. It's just like out of this world, amazing. So I'm currently in my going into my third year of college. Both Julia and Myasia, who have cochlear implants to help them with speaking skills, hope to bring what they've tried here back home with them. New and better, yes. As time goes on, the products evolve. The big goal for me to eventually move out of mom and dad's house and get my own place and live independently. From Sands Point, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.